How's it going everyone? College Lefty, and in this video I have for you guys gameplay from all four of the Home Run Derby cards that were just released into the game yesterday. In the first video that I uploaded today, I was using Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Well, I decided to pick up Jock Peterson, Ronald Acuna, and Pete Alonso and test them all out in this Moonshot event. I'll be using them at the top of the lineup, one through four. And then we also have Tony Gwynn, Roberto Alomar, Kyle Schwarber, and Cal Ripken Jr. So this will be the squad. I'm using Jock Peterson in left field. Uh, Ronald Acuna in center field. I kind of had those guys swapped around. I was, wasn't was really sure where to put them because none of these cards really have the best defense. But uh, to start the game off, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is catching a line drive right to third base there. So now we're making the debut at bat with Jock Peterson. This card definitely has a lot of power. I squared that one up well. I was just a little early on it and hit a hard ground ball over 100 miles an hour right to Frank Thomas, who is like a cat over there and makes the play. But in the debut I bat with Ronald Acuna, he is sending a no-doubter dead center. I think this card is really good. I think all of them are really good. I wouldn't really want to use these cards in ranked seasons on Hall of Fame or Legend. But uh, in BR or events or on All-Star in ranked seasons, I would definitely use these cards. And they are solid all around. There Pete Alonso is making this opponent dashboard. The opponent ends up quitting before that ball landed. So I didn't get credit for the home run, but that definitely was a no-doubter from Pete Alonso. Now in the next game with Ronald Acuna, he's going to send one to the opposite field side now, a little bit right center, and I didn't think this one had a chance to go out at all. It just kept carrying and carrying and did go out 115 power from uh, Ronald Acuna. That was the only run of that game, the lone run. But this opponent definitely has a good team. I'm looking to get something going with Jock Peterson. So far, I've done really well with Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Acuna, and Pete Alonso. I just haven't got anything going with uh, Jock Peterson. In this game, I hit a ground ball right up the middle into the shift. So that's one thing to keep in mind with that card is he does have the shift on him. And uh, I have a tough time going the other way with that specific dude. But he does have a really good swing. I'm looking to continue to try him out, at least in this event, for a few more games. I'm looking to get the 15 wins so that way I can get the 20 packs from this uh, Moonshot event. I definitely think that might as well take advantage of that situation and go for the packs. But... Uh, Pete Alonso sound that one hit the other way that's gonna be a line out to right field definitely uh, hit the ball hard and that's the thing about these cards with high power is they're gonna always hit the ball hard not always gonna get rewarded because of their low contact and vision but here the opponent is sending a solo shot out with Mike Trout I thought I might be able to have a chance at robbing that one with Ronald Acuna that ball was sent left center field he almost uh, almost was able to catch that I thought but anyway Roberto Alomar is going to tie this game up with a no-doubt home run. Definitely a really good card, and I didn't want to just include uh, only highlights from the home run derby cards. I wanted to include some of the other highlights from some of these other cards as well. But uh, this particular pitcher, I'm not sure what his name is. He definitely had a interesting delivery. As that ball gets on you pretty quickly, I was ready for the fastball that time, but uh, facing that card, it kind of threw me off the first couple pitches. That was a good calming pitcher to go to. And same with this guy. This guy came in uh, similar to Adam Adovino with the motion coming from behind the, the right-handed hitter. And uh, luckily I was able to get a late base hit with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Able to send that one to the right side for an RBI single. And uh, then I squared it up with Acuna on a low and outside pitch, but that one resulted in and out. Uh, later on in the game, Roberto Alomar is going to shoot that one into the gap. Definitely the MVP of this one. I was able to advance Tony Gwynn to third base there. Roberto Alomar tied up the game, and I was able to uh, take the lead with him uh, starting up the rally. And now Kyle Schwarber is going to extend the lead a little bit with an extra base hit. Uh, for whatever reason, Roberto Alomar did not take off for third base right away. He thought that ball might have a chance to get caught or something. And he went back to second base. I was pressing L1. As soon as the ball was hit, I knew it was past him. But uh, Cal Ripken's going to pick him up out there as he sends one in to the gap for a double. And uh, Schwarber comes around to score. This opponent ended up quitting that game out as well. And then this next one, I did go up against a Twitch streamer. I will have the link to his uh, Twitch stream down in the comment section and pinned down below. This guy's an up-and-coming dude. I checked out his channel as I matched up with him. And uh, definitely a humble guy. Very nice guy, and uh, we were both hitting the ball pretty well in this game. I mean, there in this first inning, he was squaring up the ball consistently. He was unable to get anything going, but he did have a couple chances to score some runs. And now I'm looking to get something going with Jock Peterson. A few at-bats already, and I haven't been able to do anything with this card so far. But uh, one swing of the bat, and that's going to be a no-doubter. Jock can definitely hit, and that one was over the middle of the plate. I'm not sure what his feedback was like on that one, but... I didn't really have to uh, do too much. I was just over the middle and squared it up. So I'm looking to uh, continue the rally, get Acuna on base and Pete Alonso 
Um, these both of these cards are pretty good. I was using some more right-handed hitters in this event run just because of these cards specifically. But there is Pete Alonso lines out to right field. I know that I have to score a couple more runs in this game because this opponent is definitely a good player. He could hit the baseball, and uh, here I thought I was going to be able to get a double play. Uh, just for whatever reason, the defense on some of these home run derby cards are not the greatest, and um, there Pete Alonso was not able to make that play at first base. Kind of kind of got a weird animation spun around in a circle then uh, Ronald Acuna is making a bounding leap or a diving attempt coming up short with that one unable to make that play if I would have had a better center fielder out there it probably catches that but uh, that sets him up perfectly for Duke Snyder to clear the bases with a uh, base clearing triple so that might be uh, that might be a triple I might be able to keep him up to second base but I'm going to try and throw this guy out at the plate and he does get in there safely so he goes up 4-2. to two. I at least have a chance to come back. I'm actually down to my last out right here. And Ronald Acuna is going to send one deep. That's going to be a solo shot. So I was able to score one run an inning in this game. And now I actually have a chance to tie it up with Pete Alonso coming up to the dish. 125 power. Already has a couple base knocks. And he throws a fastball inside. I was definitely under that one. I did not pull the baseball. And uh, that's going to do it for that one. GG to the opponent. Definitely check out his channel. He's a good player. And uh, I gave him a follow as well, so I'll be looking to uh, see his streams in the future. But anyway, we're hopping into this next game. I am going up against EA Costa, who I think I've played this guy once before in BR or an event as well. But uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is going to start this one off with a solo shot. I'm looking to get the bats early, bats going early in this one, try and hit some home runs, get a better uh, lead in this one because you never know what the defense of these players like what happened in the last game it just seemed I was unable to get an out and uh, for whatever reason the opponent kept hitting the baseball and he took advantage so I'm trying to avoid that in this one I'm looking to try and try and put up a couple more runs and uh, put the pressure on the opponent to have to string together a couple base hits and do the same thing in order to come back in the game so uh, here we have Tony Gwynn up and it's really nice to have Tony Gwynn at the bottom of the order towards the middle of the lineup in the five spot. It's almost like having like a second leadoff after these uh, home run derby hitters. So I was able to go up three to nothing. That's going to bring up Schwarber, and he's going to send one into the gap as well. That's going to score another run in Roberto Alomar, and Schwarber's going to end up on second. Didn't quite get over the wall for a ground rule double, but I'll definitely take that. A uh, solid hit from him. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. making another at bat, and I swung just a little bit early on this one. I think Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the best card out of all these, and maybe uh, maybe that Ronald Acuna, because just because of their swing, I find that they're easy uh, easy to get the timing down when they're when they're loading up, when they're striding, and uh, they have that short, compact swing, that two-handed swing, and I've really uh, had some success with those two guys. But in this one, I'm looking to do something with Jock Peterson. I really haven't done anything. Uh, really all that much with Jock in this one. I mean, had a one home run and uh, really the only base hit. I hit the ball hard every time with him, but it seemed like I was a little bit early, wasn't getting the timing down, wasn't really able to go the other way with him. So that was uh, why I wasn't successful in this gameplay so far. But uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hitting another line drive laser beam to center field. I've, I've hit the ball well in this inning so far. Uh, two, two squared up balls, but they both resulted in outs, and uh, that's going to be a double from Acuna. He hit that one, and it's slicing away from the center fielder, so that's nice to see. I thought that that might be three hard hit balls for three outs in the inning, but we do extend it for Pete Alonzo, and I'm looking to do some damage, and he's going to line out right to the shortstop. Solid play from Hornsby right there, and uh, now I just have to try and keep the opponent off the board here. Facing Chris Davis on an 0-1 count. I threw a curveball right over the middle of the plate. As soon as I let that one go with the analog stick, I knew it was gone. They didn't really have a chance to rob that one because I have Jock Peterson in center field. He has 37 speed and, uh, like, no fielding at all. So that was not the best move. But uh, Jock does bring his bat to this one. He's going to smack that one out for a game-tying home run in the third inning. So he clutches up there. I power swung on that one and sent it out for a homer. And now that's really what I'm trying to do is get the uh, get the rally going. Hopefully that springs the, uh, the bats to come alive and I can get a couple more base hits. There I power swung once again with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit that one all right, but right to the center fielder. And that's going to bring up uh, Ronald Acuna. Already has a double in this game. And I've really liked using Ronald Acuna. Even his live series card is really glitchy in this year's game. I mean, he has this quick swing. He's got really nice quirks on his live series card. The difference between the live series and this home run derby is he doesn't have like the fastball quirk. Or uh, I think it's the Road Warrior quirk or the Fighter quirk where he performs better in the ninth inning or later. 
stuff like that. He won't have those quirks, but he definitely has the extra power at 115. Later on in the year when the inside edge is gone, then some of these home run derby cards might be more usable. Uh, I know Ronald Acuna is playing up on inside edge quite often, and he plays up to like an 89, which is uh, pretty close to what the 90 overall is. But the difference is is the uh, the contact, the vision is right around the same. But the difference is really in the uh, the quirks and I guess the uh, the clutch and the discipline. But the opponent chose to walk out Roberto Alomar and brought up Kyle Schwarber in that one. I was able to hit a uh, home run. And then back-to-back -back shots, another one from Kyle Ripken. I was able to kind of put this game away. I got the dub in that one. That was the 15th win. And now I will have 20 packs to open. I'm going to go ahead and lock in these vouchers and open up this 20-pack bundle. I uh, haven't really pulled anything out of my recent packs lately. I've only pulled a couple diamonds in this year's game in general. But I figured I would include these packs since it does take a bunch of wins to get in these events. I figured I would just include these packs at the end of this uh, gameplay video. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, definitely leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to go ahead and sell those Home Run Derby cards because I'm not going to really use them that much. If anything, I will uh, buy them back later on. I'm not sure what their price is going to be looking like once those packs go away. So, I mean, I might be uh, dumb in selling them early. But I want to go ahead and get the stubs ready for the uh, fifth inning program. I want to be able to purchase some of those cards. So I'm going to be uh, selling those guys. I might get about 100K stubs once I sell those cards. But I'm really investing in that uh, All-American bat or that American flag bat, whatever it's called. I'm investing in the bat that says We the People on it. The bat skin that's exclusive to the uh, Home Run Derby pack. If, they, if SDS releases the All-Star Game pack, which will come out later tonight and it replaces that bat skin pack then uh that bat skin will no longer be available to unlock and people will want to buy that skin it's a nice bat skin it looks pretty cool and it's american flag so i think a lot of people are going to want to use that that bat skin throughout the season and uh since it is released in july and uh later on in a couple months from now that bat skin might be going for 5k stubs or something it might not as well but i'm looking to uh hold off on that long-term investment with no risk involved. I talked a little bit about that in my previous video. But so far through 10 packs, nothing doing in these packs. I mean, not even a gold card or anything really to show for it. A couple uh, decent silvers and not even nothing even that's event usable. Like a common Steven Wright would be decent to pull. I could go ahead and sell something like that. I mean, some of these cards that are good in the event that have a chance to go gold. Okay, there's a David Dahl or a chance to go diamond like a a high gold 84 overall would be nice, something like that. I'm not even asking for a diamond card. I haven't pulled one in so long. Well, there's a gold card. I'll take uh, Trevor Bauer, but I thought for a second earlier on in the year that he might have a chance to go diamond. I'm not really sure what his stats are looking like now, but uh, he he was on diamond watch, at least for me anyway, and he's definitely a good pitcher. But uh, 83 overall gold card, I'll take it. Down to the last couple, and I'm starting to get... A few more gold cards at the bottom of this pack opening. But uh, Ken Giles there. And then we will have, oh, there's a diamond something. Diamond sponsorship, it looks like. And that's going to be one of the worst ones. 1,600 for the diamond pull. So, I mean, it's a diamond, but it's a sponsorship. That is really, uh, might as well be a bat skin or something that is like an audio. A, you know, one of those unlockables that you just quick sell. I won't use that sponsorship because I don't really play franchise. But, uh. In the gold pack, I got the Yasmani Grandal, so that's nice. He's definitely on Diamond Watch, I would say. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully you guys have some success with these Home Run Derby packs and cards. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.